Okay. And finally, the last thing we call is suspend particle shape. This one, so called uni axed. This one, non uni axed, right? Unisotropic. Unisotropic. And in terms of the disruption to the flow, people find this guy cause way more disruption to the flow than the unix. As a result, typically a suspension at the same solid loading by weight or by volume, the unisotropic particles, the ones with larger aspect ratio would cause more disruption to the flow and give higher viscosity at the same solid loading. At the same solid loading, these guys would be way more viscous. Yes. Okay. So this is kind of experimental or model data, viscosity versus kind of aspect ratio. Yeah. Ten to the power zero means what? Spherical, right? One to one aspect ratio. And then when we get the higher and higher aspect ratio, the viscosity even at the same solid loading change by several order of magnitude mm -hmm. dramatically okay the reason kind of we don't have we only give hand waving reason rotation of this isotropic particle takes energy takes activation take needs create produce greater perturbation okay which means you have to apply larger shearing stress to overcome it in order to force it to change direction to flow. Okay. For example, compared with here, compared with isotropic versus something like this, we would have viscosity almost double or even increase furthermore. Okay. So here we see, okay. For the slurry, there are different uh, parameters that you can think of to control your flow behavior. Solid loading, right? Particle shape or isotropy, pH, which changes electrolyte, supporting electrolyte, not just pH by acid or base. I can add sodium chloride or other stuff to change my ionic strength. And polymer addition, polymer molecular weight, and uh, polyelectrolyte. All these are different knobs that uh, you may think if you are going to handle a slurry. Okay, but then the detail you have to try. You have to read the so called engineering manual. But here we only give you the principle. Okay, so let's, I guess, let's stop here. So, um, one last thing about colloidal um, or, or slurry is about uh, particle size distribution effect on rheology on, or on viscosity. So we may find that particles have single mode, which means all the particles have the same size, same diameter, same shape. But uh, we may also run into situation that uh, you may purposefully have so-called uh, bimodal or continuous particle size. Continuous particle size distribution quite often you just buy million. And then of course everything will be in continuous. Uh, depends, actually depends. Bimodal, you can purposefully mix powder from one source from powder from another source. That okay, you purposefully create so-called bimodal distribution. The extreme case is one type of particle have one size, the other type of particle from the other size. But of course, typically each of them have certain so-called weeds for their spread, for their distribution. But anyway, what people observed is that uh, when they have so-called bimodal particle size distribution, while well, here I'm plotting what? Viscosity relative kind of relative viscosity versus volume fraction of particles as large components. So we are mixing large particles with smaller particles. 
And here we have three different uh, sets of experiment. Each of them have the different uh, ratio. size ratio between the larger particles and the smaller particles. Okay, different size ratio. And when you have different size ratio, you can also change the volume fraction for the larger versus the smaller, or for the smaller versus larger one. Three sides of experiment. Make sense? Yeah. Kind of okay. I starting from different uh, uh, mixture, but then I can have different uh, volume fraction or weight fraction for the larger particle versus the smaller particles. But uh, what uh, people observed, what people observed is that okay. If we follow any of these three lines, let's say this circle, let's say this circle with size ratio of roughly three, size ratio of larger to smaller of roughly three, what people see is, okay, the viscosity would be high if I have a lot of larger particles. The viscosity would be high if I have a lot of smaller particles, but somewhere in between, I have a relatively yeah, kind of optimized, a lower viscosity. Of course, this may be comp complex, again, because this experiment wasn't done to the extreme. You may find that when you go to extreme, it may drop down again. Like the complexity maybe, because the data points are cut off from here. On the other hand, if we keep the same larger to smaller, if we keep the larger to smaller particle ratio, and what you would find, what you would find is, okay, the viscosity is lower if my size ratio appears to be larger, right, from square, to triangle, from square to triangle, my size ratio, from square to triangle, my size ratio is getting small, uh, sorry, from square to triangle, my size ratio is, particle size ratio is actually getting larger. But for the same kind of relative volume fraction, larger or smaller, I'm having a lower relative viscosity. Okay. Uh, relative viscosity. Like, 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 it didn't plot one. Actually, I don't know. It didn't. Uh, it didn't say. But some some reference point. I have. If I have to guess, I, I honestly I don't know. Yeah, the exact exact uh, uh, reference. The essence here is about okay. You have one more knob <laughs> to turn. That's that's the essence here. You have okay. Understand okay. We are changing the from single mode to bi mode or continuous mode. That's another thing that will change the flow behavior. That's the essence, and it's not too difficult to do experiment, and you you would find it. I wouldn't jump too much into how to ex explain them here. Yeah. And uh, the sorry, the other one is about uh, similarly viscosity versus volume fraction of the small particles. And here, the different symbols representing measuring at a different uh, so-called uh, strain rate, one over second, ten, one over second. 101 over a second. Of course, in this here, the triangle one is the higher strain rate, and the circle would be the lower strain rate. And then we are having mixture of two types of particles with different, uh, yeah, different size, bimodal. Well, we're having a bimodal um, distribution. And what people observed is at certain value, we are having the lowest viscosity if we are measuring at the same sharing strain rate. Yes. Okay, at certain value we are having lowest 
And if we are uh, one side will have higher viscosity, the other side will have also have higher viscosity. Okay. And at the same time, from circle to triangle, from circle to triangle, I'm increasing the shearing strain rate and the viscosity would drop. That's just the typical shear thinning behavior. Yes. Okay.